I was on the Lower Sacramento River and up with Brian Flint, who's a guide there in Northern California. And Brian went and talked through his rod and line and his rig there for Euronymphing, gave us some detail about what he uses and why. And so I think you might find this interesting. So today I'm fishing a Cortland competition, 10 and a half foot three weight. I like the 10 and a half foot, 11 foot size rods on bigger rivers. It really, there's no reason not to have it. It, it adds extended length so you can get over currents a little bit better. And there's not much trees and stuff to worry about, so no issue. Um, typically, these Euro Nipping rods always have a fighting butt, always helps out fighting these bigger fish. Real lightweight setup. Now, it is a three weight, but it, it'll fight a fish like a six weight. There, there are no slouches in that department. Um, the longer rod really does help protect lighter tippet, so you can run 6x a lot easier and land more fish that way whereas like a stiffer rod you'll tend to break them off these rods are great they do they do well um, everywhere from the lower stack to the clouds great all-around rod um, dry dropper um, single dry does it all for the line i'm running Cortland Euronymph level taper with with um, 15 pound Maxima Chameleon down to some red amnesia to chartreuse amnesia. Fun stuff, I was able to get a lot of information from Brian Flint when I spent the day with him on the water. We were there on the Sacramento River and he guides there, as well as the McLeod, the Pitt River, up here in Northern California. Let us know, we'll put you in touch. He's a really good guy. I learned a ton of things and we just kind of were able to hit it off and spend a whole day on the water. It felt like an hour, it was really fun. So let us know, we'll put you in contact and we'll see you right here next time on the Backcast.